the moment I've been dreading. That's right. Today's video looks at the disgusting, nasty, max level tanks. Yep, today we are looking at our max level tanks and our troop series, I guess you can call it. Of all of our max level troops, probably should have saved these guys for last because um, if you guys have ever watched the channel, you know how I feel about tanks. Never been a fan of them. We'll never be a fan of them, to be frank with you. But today's video kind of looks at them, seeing what they're like, seeing if that extra level makes a difference, and seeing if we can take down Dr. T. We won't spend too much time on them, of course, not taking out a bunch of player bases today because it hurts my soul just to even touch these things. But that's how it goes. Currently doing our little chores, checking up on our stuff. Haven't been logging into Boom Beach nearly as much. Like I said, grinding out other games right now, but we will be back more frequently soon enough. But of course, this week, we want to make sure we get all those videos out for you guys. I do apologize for the lateness of the videos. I'm going to try to get out some more daytime videos, perhaps. Although I know some of my uh, folks uh, overseas might uh, enjoy these videos a little more because they're out during their times, but that's not the U.S. times, of course. Can't please everybody, though. So yeah, max level tanks. <clears throat> my problem with tanks has always been they're a slow troop and their DPS doesn't... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Make up for that, so to say. The tanks do probably some of the worst DPS in the game. Uh, because they shoot once every 3.5 seconds as compared to Zookas that shoot every 2 seconds and Bombardiers you shoot every 2.2. I might have that backwards. And then of course you have Warriors that are hitting every 1 second. So for the fact that these troops are supposed to be like a combination between thick and damage oriented, it feels like they're lacking in both. I guess for the folks that don't have IT, you can probably make them work. You just have to baby them a little bit. As we're going to kind of see in this video, there isn't a lot that can be done to them as long as you kind of keep track of them. But to me, I like doing things a little bit flashy. I like my smoke and tanks have no place to be smoked. Although, maybe that could be an interesting video. More to follow on that. But yeah, they are they get the job done, I suppose. I know a lot of Foy Oaks like them. I believe they create bad habits as far as good offensive and good boom beach players because it almost feels like a just drop them and be lazy and oftentimes that only works in my opinion against folks that have like very little ice or something like that when it comes down to like troops that actually have like a good layout good planning and like decent amount of ice you come to find out real quick tanks just don't do as much as you think they do Showing off the stats real quick just so you guys are aware of them. Showed off the damage and of course the health. About 10,000 health. Uh, I forgot what the damage was. Maybe 3,000 a shot. Something like that. Which mind you, like my max level Zookas I think do like 22, 2300 per damage or per shot. There's more per boat mind you. And they're shooting twice for basically every one tank shot. So... It's insane to think about how much DPS Zookas do compared to tanks. Mind you, of course, that Zookas are definitely squishier, so you have to baby them even more. But I just honestly think it's worth to do that little more baby for what is basically quick damage. And of course, our shameless shout out. If you guys are enjoying the video, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. It is free and turn on those bell notifications. We're climbing, folks. We've gotten quite a few subscribers over the last few days. And I look forward to it. I don't think we'll hit our 500 before the end of the year. Because that's only 11 days away. And that would be a lot of subs. But hopefully by the end of January. I'd love to see that. So if you guys are one of that many folks that watches my channel. And thinks maybe why should I subscribe? Why not? What does it hurt? Does it hurt you? It hurts me. I'm talking to you right there. That sees that subscribe button. But refuses to press it. Just click it. Click it. Click it. Either way, I appreciate y'all regardless of that. So far, so good. Nothing crazy, of course. 
Huge shout out to the folks out there that are still pushing on their warship season. I think we are... Are we almost done? Or is it next week? I don't know. I have to look. Our warship season is coming to an end here either this weekend or next weekend. I think it's next weekend, honestly. Which means that Mega Crab might fall next weekend, even though I thought it was this weekend. Hmm. I'll have to double check that. I'll let you guys know by next video. Anyway. So... Good luck and happy push in for that last little push for folks. I'm sure there are a lot of 60R and 70Rs already. A lot of folks trying to climb to get to that hopefully legendary trophy. I know some folks were killing it like crazy in the beginning of the season. I have to check up and see if they're still killing it when everyone is now closer to all the same tech. So far, gone through five stages, coming through our six without losing a single tank, so clearly a little extra help goes a long way. Mind you, this is also unboosted, so with some boost, they might be a little bit stronger. But like I said, we just aren't here for the shenanigans that are tanks. We just want to have fun, and maybe a little bit of risk is what makes the game even more fun, so that's why we choose not to use tanks. We're using Captain Everspark. You can use Private Bullet, uh, uh, maybe Brick. Uh, Kavan could work. Dr. Kavan could work with like a second win, having those riflemen as a pseudo-tank for the tanks. Which sounds weird to say, but you can also throw a tanking troop in with tanks. Maybe like a Scorcher tank or something like that, or a mech tank, perhaps. If that is so your pleasure. Which reminds me, we will definitely be doing a tier list hmm, either tomorrow or Thursday. Let's see if I can find pictures for all the things that I have in mind. I think we want to do a troop tier list first, which will just be the normal troops. Maybe we'll throw the proto troops in there. That might be a little bit long. We'll see. We'll try to feel it out. We'll do original troops first and then go from there. Uh, I also want to do statues. Um, defenses maybe, maybe prototype defenses. Heroes I think would be a short tier list, but maybe. Or maybe heroes we'd like to see as well, I think could be cool. I know this game is definitely old and there's a lot less updating that happens to this game as compared to other games, but I still love it. I still think it's worth talking about what the future of Boom Beach could look like. If it's gone 10 years, who says it can't go another 10 years? I love playing old games, and I've been playing them for a long time, so. Like Boom Beach, I have other games that have withstood the... What's the thing called? The Age of Time? The Times of Tables? The Turning of Time? There's a saying, and I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's okay. Life happens. But yeah, I've been with a lot of games that have withstood the test of time. There we go. I remember it. Sorry about that. Withstood the test of time. Games that I've been playing that have been around for 20 years, stuff like that. As you guys know, we play RuneScape, which is 23 years old MOBA, which is insane to think about. Boom Beach is another great one. I play other games and stuff like that. Like I said, we aren't about the flashy new AAA games. We like our old games, and we hope that they go the long run. How amazing would it be for you know our kids to see something like this? And honestly, my son is getting to an age where he probably could, but regardless of all that, just a fun game that I hope that they continue to patch and look forward to. Like I said, if they gave just a little bit more love like they do to a lot of their other Supercell games, I think this game could go a long ways, to be honest. But that's just my opinion, I suppose. And here we are in stage seven talking the shenanigans still haven't lost a tank throughout the full seven stages unfortunately we decided to do something a little bit goofy here and honestly we probably should have threw those critters a little bit later because they definitely didn't cover the tanks and there it is two cannons shot dead one tank ooh shot two tanks dead was it one two i think it's only one so yes we did lose one tank right at the end Super unfortunate, but you want to know what? That is how it goes sometimes. Overall, not terrible on the tanks part. They definitely did better than some other troop combinations do. Although, like I said, 
who likes the boring tank life? Not me. But we are going to look into some player hits now. Kind of giving a feel to how that looks. Mind you, we also have the boosted GBE tribe. Nothing great as far as tribes this two weeks, but I will say the GBE tribe is great for any Alzuka players or Smoke players, something like that. Especially if you don't want to boost, having a little bit of extra GBE can help for even combinations like full tanks, because they do take, what is that, 36, no, 48 GBE to drop, so. Having just a little bit extra ain't no thing but a chicken wing. We like to get a little fanning of the tanks, but we don't want our tanks to get too thinly spread, especially when only one or two are going for boom cannons. Because boom cannons ha can one or two shot, depending on how much ice a player has. Tanks, even a max level tank. Which is another reason why I'm not the hugest fan of them. Like I said, for a troop that you only have 24 of, when one or two shots can take one down, you let a couple of those tanks, cannons, even sniper towers in some regards, go ramp it a little bit, and your entire attack is just going to fall apart. A lot harder to do that when you have mass troops. Now, to offset that, you could use something like Dr. Kaban, I suppose, but like I said, I think it's more enjoyable to use mass troops or to get even thicker troops out of the front. Scorchers, max stuff like that. There it is, Mr. Gold? Cold? It is cold. <laughs> Mr. Gold or Cold, hard to say if that's a G or a C. Down and out, only losing one tank. So... Mind you, that was a non-iced player, so I feel like it only feels right for us to look at least one more base, preferably one that has at least a little bit ice, a little bit of ice. And this is going to be a prime example, although now that I'm looking at it, is this an ice player? Or did we accidentally, this isn't even an ice player, we just accidentally clicked on something that got boosted from the tribes, unfortunate. But, thus is life. We are going to keep pushing along with it. We also want to stream sometime this week. Uh, maybe a couple stream, but talking about like a solo stream let me know what kind of games you guys would like to see i don't know if it's worth streaming runescape if it would get the engagement from the community maybe though or if i should try something else i know i have talked to people about some other games that we play of course our biggest caveat to that is going to be that it requires either switch or mobile because we can't stream pc games really So something to think about. If you guys have ideas, make sure you put them in the comments of the video. And we'll see if we can do something. I'd like to stream again, especially before the Mega Crab and before Among Us. Of course, we do have our co-op stream that we'll probably be doing this Friday, depending on how things look and how busy the misses and I get. And here it is, smoking those last couple so they don't get torn apart by that hot pot and boom cannon. And boom goes that headquarters. Cannon's taking it down. Did lose a couple here as well, but they still got the job done. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Like I said, hopefully we never have to use tanks again. They are disgusting. <laughs> Just kidding. Continue to be ready for more of the max troops but until then i am the resident dweller of the underworld the casual players player the david to max players goliath dark anubis and i'll see you all soon peace